Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing BTD6 and we're going to be playing with Ancient Monkey Mod again. Uh, we're actually going to be trying uh, the Ancient Monkey against Blunarius and I think we're going to just kind of go through the different bosses um, as time goes on. Going to see how he does against each one. So yeah, we're going to just put him here for now. Um, buy him some weapons. Probably Sada. Sada's going to be a really good uh, early one. Go for Hot Shot so we get some early lead detection. Um, so yeah, uh, this is going to be pretty interesting. Happy with how this is going though so far. So yeah, for anyone who doesn't remember or doesn't or didn't watch the last videos that I've made on this guy, um, he, you, you buy weapons down here and you get uh, different weapon choices. So you can have different rarities, you can have common, rare, epic, legendary, and then exotic. Same thing for stronger weapons. Um, if you buy stronger weapons, then that just makes your the weapons that you buy in here. That makes them all stronger, but only the ones that you've currently bought. So if you buy stronger weapon, and then after buying stronger weapon, you get a new weapon. It doesn't, it doesn't make that weapon stronger. So future weapon upgrade, or future new weapons do, are not affected by a previous stronger weapon. So you kind of want to wait until you already have a bunch of weapons, and then go for a new weapon. Now, with new ability, there's all sorts of different types of abilities you can get. From, like, tack shooter ability, so, like, blade maelstrom. Um, you can have, uh, let's see, what are some abilities that I've seen? Uh, you can have the dark shift ability from the super monkey with, uh, oh, uh, we had that selected. From the super monkey, you can, you know, the dark shift ability, you can have tech terror, um... Um, you can have the Monkey Nomics upgrade, you can have the Elite Sniper, or, or the Monkey, or the, yeah, the Monkey Nomics ability, you can have Elite Sniper ability, so there's all sorts of different abilities, they're all really, really good. See, another one, Snowstorm. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of just set up this tech bot over in the corner, and we're gonna have it kind of just spam the Snowstorm ability whenever it's available. And that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, going for abilities is a pretty good way of just like farming. Because you can get really good abilities. Like I said, the Monkey Nomics or Elite Sniper, you know. So you can get abilities like that which are extremely powerful. Because they give a lot of money. And like, sure, like obviously if you got the Elite Sniper, then $3,000 isn't like a lot of money if you already have the Elite Sniper. But with this guy, it's like, you don't have the Elite Sniper. You just have this guy, and you bought an ability that for, I mean, it's random, but you could buy the ability for $4,000, and then the ability it gives you is the Elite Sniper ability. Well, it gives you two Elite Sniper abilities to use. So you're getting $6,000 every time you use the ability when you bought it for 4000 So that's just kind of like, that's why abilities are so powerful. Monkey Nomics is even better because that gives you like 9,000 um, each time you use it. So like, that's just, that alone is insane. All right, and then there's also MIB. There's some abilities that don't like actually do anything. Um, they're just kind of like little buffs. Um, so like, like the MIB where, you know, so that'll be good for just making it so that he can actually target, you know, um, camos and leads with all of his attacks. Because camos and leads are actually quite a problem. Um, because obviously you need to get, you, you, the tower itself cannot hit camos or leads. You need uh, certain weapons that can. So things like hot shot can pop lead. Things like shurikens from the ninja, they can pop camo. Things like that. Things of that nature. Crossbow as well would be able to. We're going to go for Psy though. 
Kasai is a pretty, he has a pretty strong attack. Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna try to get another weapon. Hopefully I can beat Blunarius with this. I mean, okay, laser eyes is gonna be good. So yeah, I mean, we're in a pretty good position. Uh, early on, I think we'll probably be fine against Blunarius. Like the first tier should be pretty easy. Second tier might be a little bit harder. Um, but we're going to hope for the best on that one. And yeah, since we have MIB, we don't really need to worry about, like I said, like I keep saying, camos or leads. Don't really need to worry about those. So I'm just kind of go, I'm going to go with the flow and see what happens. And then there's Etienne, so we can have Etienne's attacks, which isn't really that good, but we could just have it for the sake of having it. Wow, yeah, okay, so Blunarius is not taking very much damage at all. Um, let's make my weapon stronger, why don't we? Get some damage boost. Yeah, see, there we go. Some damage boost is exactly what I needed. Some piercing as well. And it increases range by a little bit too, which is nice. Um, let's go for that. Increases damage even more. See, I definitely think against the bosses damage boosts are going to be quite a bit like very important uh and we already had quite a few like weapons so we'll go for sniper so yeah sadly sniper obviously isn't going to be affected by the stronger weapons that we bought but you know he has other weapons that are obviously affected by it and that's all that really matters um might want to go for another ability see if we can get something good from that Because, yeah, if we get the Elite Sniper or the Monkey Nomics, then money wouldn't really be that big of a problem. And we could try to get some really strong weapons. Weapons you can get range from literally everything from, like, you can get Balloon Solver, Balloon Crush, um, I, I don't know, uh, Hydra Rocket Pods, I've seen that. Uh, what else? Uh... I mean, you can get uh, Archmage, Summon Phoenix. Actually, I guess Summon Phoenix would be an ability, my bad. Summon Phoenix is an ability you can get. <laughs> um, obviously, you have the Laser Blast. You can get the Plasma plasma Blast. Ooh, another Elite Sniper. So we're going to get a lot more money now. So yeah, there's just, uh, you get, like everything to do with Spikes. With, like, the Spike Factory, you can get that stuff as well. So, you know, there's a lot a lot that can happen. And your character can get very, very strong very, very quickly. <laughs> as you can see, I just got the Tech Terror ability. We're going to have four Elite Snipers. So we're going to have, well, four Elite Sniper abilities. So we're going to have a lot of money. Now we have some Phoenix as well. Um, we can get another weapon uh let's see let's see get another weapon let's go for another sniper let's go for hot rings and then let's go for another let's go for tack why not yeah, like, and the abilities, sadly, are not affected by, um, MIB, but, you know, it is what it is. Ooh, range boost, attack speed boost, yeah, sure. See, we got thorns on that one. We should be able to pretty much melt through this guy, I hope, I think. 
Pierce boost. Okay, I guess Pierce would is gonna be good. Maybe, kind of. Uh, let's go for that one. Let's go for that one. So yeah, his uh, his beginning attacks are gonna be extremely strong. So. Yeah, I mean, the, from now on, the balloons are basically not going to be a problem at all. Everything is going to just be able to melt through them. We just need probably more abilities. Another summon Phoenix. Okay, I'll take it. And then, yeah, there's this button. In case anyone was curious what this button does, it will upgrade him into an advanced ancient monkey, which costs $75,000. Uh, unlocks a new rarity, a new weapon slot, stronger weapon slot, new ability slot, uh, greatly increased luck, removed common rarity, stronger weapon, and new weapon cost increased. And what it means by increased, it actually means decreased. And a new ability cost decreased, it actually means increased. Um, but it resets everything. Uh, wait, why did I do that? I meant to click on this. So, yeah, so all of this stuff gets, uh, reset. Like, all the, this stuff, the prices of everything get reset. It goes back down to default prices, but like I said, there's some things that are increased, some things that are decreased. Some prices. And see, now we have teleportation on this guy. Um, so yeah, we could move him around if we wanted to. We could put him closer. So that's a that's a pretty i mean it's obviously not like damage but it's still pretty good because you know you can just target things right up front um maybe we don't want to do that maybe we want to put them more at the back so then we can get the elite sniper like ability going i don't know Even without his main attack, I mean, the abilities are doing enough damage as anyway, so. But yeah, we could try to kind of farm the, uh, the elite sniper ability. If we just kind of put this guy more at the back. It's not like I'm worried about losing either way, so. And then we have Snowstorm to slow everything down, too, so. Yeah, I mean, we don't really have much to worry about here. Um, I am just trying to farm some money before the boss shows up. Because with our current setup, I am not super confident that we're going to be able to beat him. So I'm a little concerned. I'm definitely hoping we can, but I'm not incredibly confident about it. So yeah, let's just kind of, I think I'm just going to get another ability. Mob Eliminator would be a good, would be a really good ability for this. Because um, obviously it does a lot of damage. Overclock. Overclock is really good as well for this guy. So I guess we'll just get this guy prepared for fighting, taking on the boss. I mean, nothing else to really do. Just keep increasing his damage. Oh yeah. Uh, put overclock on him as well. That overclock is going to go crazy because he basically has like permanent overclock. Overclock overclock does run out eventually, but on this guy, overclock doesn't run out before the ability is back up. So it's quite literally just a permanent overclock. 
Um, get some more damage. Oh my gosh. The balloon trap is also a nice touch. Especially for balloon areas. Nice. Okay, well, let's move him back to here, I guess. And just keep trying to kind of farm up the elite sniper ability. I guess we don't really have to, like, redo the tech bot each time. But, I don't know. Because, like, we could just leave him as, like... Like, not using, like, things like Blade Maelstrom and things, and just certain abilities that we get after we've already used, put, like, the tech bot on him. So. Because, yeah, it's not like Blade Maelstrom is really going to be doing much anyways. It's just going to be going to be filling up the screen with blades and not actually doing very much damage. Plus, we don't really want to be doing dealing any damage because we want to farm the elite sniper abilities if i wanted to farm even harder i could literally just take the tech bot off entirely and solely just have it be this guy see now we have spike storm and spike storm is gonna like is not gonna you know obviously be generating us money so um you know let's move him like back into this corner Because his range is big enough, if anything shows up here anyways, he's just going to be able to beat it. Plus, the sniper attack is going to be really strong too. So. So yeah, we're just going to kind of be waiting for... You know, if I could get... You could also get banana farm weapons, but weapons quote unquote um because you can get like the uh, banana plantation banana research facility i assume you can actually get that i didn't get plantation and greater production i assume you can probably get the later stages as well of the banana farm as like a as weapon upgrades i'm not entirely sure about that though but yeah i mean our weapons are strong enough our, our weapons are strong enough to defeat normal rounds. But I'm not sure how they're going to do against tier 4, I think we're up against now. Yeah, tier 4. Um, Lunarius. Uh, and then tier 5 is going to be really bad as well. I don't know how we're going to really do against... Because even like Moab Elimination isn't going to cut it for us. I think we are... We might just have to, like, we might just have to go for the ancient, up, or like, the, uh, the advanced ancient monkey upgrade. I think we're just gonna have to go for that and hope for the best. Because I don't think there's really anything else I can do. Um... Yeah, I think that might be the best play here, is just to go for that. I mean, all of this guy's attacks can shred through these guys, so... It really just is, like, the big boss... Uh, the big boss bl uh, Blunarius that we can't really beat yet entirely with, with ease. I mean, we probably could beat Tier 4 with just, like, this current setup. Uh, also, is that Elite Sniper ability broken?
Seems like elite elite sniper is broken. Uh oh. Oh, never mind. It's still it's still using the ability. It's just. No, it's okay. It's working now. That was weird. It's like the cooldown wasn't moving. See, now it's doing it again. Can the cooldown only go down so much during a round or something? So, like, you can't stall out the round for Elite Sniper? Maybe it's not, like, a bug. Maybe, like, that's actually how it is. Oh, wait. Uh, so why do I get much more cash in here? Wait, so this guy, does this guy have, nah, he's not considered a sniper. I, I thought he might, um, get the elite targeting. So I'm not sure what exactly that does, really, but. So yeah, let's save up for the advanced ancient monkey. And see how well this goes. So yeah. So you can see the weapon and the ability costs were decreased while the stronger weapon was increased. So it's the other way around than what it actually says it does. In the, uh, in the, in the description for it. Okay, Mob Eliminator. So yeah, this is going to be a little bit nicer, a little bit easier, I think, to win. Buy some new, see, greater production, greater uh, production, yep, there we go. Let's get Psy, let's get um, bouncing bullets, spike balls, we got that anyways. Sharpshooter. Get greater production. Get another. Get Adora. Get Overdrive. Greater production. Plasma Blast. Arcade Spike. And all sorts of good stuff. Another. Um, another Elite Sniper. Got so many of these freaking. Elite Sniper abilities. Another Monkeynomics. Uh, we get Druid of the Jungle, why not? Get, oh, another freaking, okay. Oh, yeah, I should move this guy closer. Oh, he is melting him. Let me put down a banana farm, though. Yeah, he is melting him. Another monkeynomics. Teleportation again, I guess. Just for the fun of it. Um, we get Airburst Dart. Sun Avatar? Yes. Sharpshooter. Another Monkey Nomics. Another Monkey Nomics. Yeah, now we're, now we're just going to be rolling in the dough. Oh, 
We're actually going to be making a crap ton of money. I'm not seeing the Sun Avatar weapon, though. Am I missing something? See, I don't see the Sun Avatar attack. Plasma Accelerator? Oh. Um... Oh, so you go from... Okay, interesting. I don't quite understand how this works. Okay, whatever. Oh, we have so much money. Spike Storm. Blade Maelstrom. Monkey Nomics. Monkey Nomics. Snowstorm. Spike Storm, Snowstorm, Monkey Nomics, Lead Sniper, Carpet of Spikes, Lead Sniper, Lead Sniper, Carpet of Spikes, Snowstorm. And yeah, I was going to say, let's just get all of those abilities going at once. Oh, Banana Central, thank you. Uh, Balloon Crush. Balloon, I'll go for greater production. Uh, Balloon Lake with Fire. Adora, I guess. Not make, it's not actually making any money, I don't think. Is he making money? Not really. Uh, yeah, he is. Go for the money boost, though. Oh, that's a huge damage boost. Which is gonna be good. Money boost. Go for that. You range and pierce on that one. I don't know if we really need range and pierce. Um. Go for that though. Range and attack speed is good. Oh my gosh. Well, I think this guy might just one-shot the Blunarius boss uh, now. Let me just buy all these different... Mode of Domination. Okay. Another ban Banana Central... Sentry Expert. Go for more damage. Go for faster attack speed. More attack speed. Oh my gosh, more pierce. That's a lot of piercing. Um... So, huh? So yeah, it appears that Blunarius might have moved like five feet. Um. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video using the Ancient Monkey mod. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. I'll probably have to...
test this guy out against Elite Blunarius and some of the other bosses eventually as well. Uh, let me know in the comments what boss I should try next. But yeah, uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. And yeah, you guys take care.